Hey, hello there. This is going to be an update on the curve tangent transfer or the brush tool that we created. Uh, we are gonna, uh, getting quite some questions on how to export this because this mainly works in Blender with instances. And as we can see, all these brush strokes are instances. Uh, if we go here, like we can change the size of them, change the length of them, uh, and also the density of the amount of brush strokes. And what is nice about this is that it's using these Bezier curve lines that you can draw on the model. So if you have this model and you draw these curves, then the brushes will follow these lines, as you can see here. They follow all the curves. Um, but the difficulty is to create UV maps for them and realize the instances. But what I've done now is I created a new file and in this one, all of them are realized. So if you uh, go to Blender Market and you buy this tool, you also have a file with the realized version and all these uh, instances are realized and it's it's not happened yet but you have to uh, make sure that you apply it this one is applied i can also delete this one and i can show you what happens if you apply it so here everything is still procedural you can still enlarge them make them wider so here you can see what happens uh, you it's still procedural so here you can just adjust all the parameters but the moment that you say apply now everything is realized and it still works so if we go into this mode we can see here uh, it's all separate geometry we can select it and grab it uh, like this it's all separate and if we go to the color mode here you can see we have uh, in the UV maps, two UV maps. So if we go to the UV editing and we go into the UV uh, unwrap window, if I select everything, here we can see uh, the inside model. So if I select this one with L and I pull it out, this is the inside model. Uh, we can delete it, we don't really need it. Uh, and here are all the points. So every face from the brush is condensed into a point. And these points are put on the texture itself from the scan. And then it takes the color from that point in the texture. So this way it works and it's also exportable to other software. So if you want to use this in other software, you just take this image uh, as a UV color and also we have a secondary UV map, brush UV. And if we go into it, it's just uh, all the faces spread out uh, to the outer bounds. And this way you can project a brush or multiple brushes. So you get uh, the shape of a brush. Uh, now it, it's just a rectangle and I'm using the blender um, system to create a brush looking face but in other software you can just project a brush onto this square and then it should work everywhere so now with this version you can realize your instances uh, just by applying uh, when i go back to this you just have to apply it and then everything will be set here so apply and then you get the file with all the uv data it's automatically create uv maps while in the previous version it didn't and it's still instances that way it works faster but this way you can also export it and tweak it more okay i hope this is useful and uh, see you in the next one okay bye